The State Department of Labor and Employment says it will no longer do interviews with journalists about problems with the unemployment system. It's also ending its weekly briefings that provided updates to the public. The agency says this is a response to threats made against staff. Tensions have reached a boiling point as unemployed Coloradans go weeks, even months, without payments. Andrea Flores has been following the state's response to the unemployment crisis. And Andrea, some people are at risk of losing their homes and they can't get any answers. People rallied here at the Colorado Department of Labor and Employment earlier this morning. Hours later, the department announced their Reemploy Colorado initiative. It's a three week campaign to get unemployed workers into jobs, but unemployed workers say searching for a job doesn't pay the bills. These people don't care about us. A group of frustrated Coloradans rallied outside the Colorado Department of Labor and Employment today. My house is in a bankruptcy state with a contract that says if we miss one house payment, they take our house that we've paid 16 years on. Kimberly Rubio is one of thousands waiting for unemployment benefits that haven't come. I know people here who've lost their cars, their homes. They're living out of their cars with their children and now their cars are going to get repossessed. When does it stop? CDLE announced that people under phase two would start receiving financial assistance in a few weeks. Rally organizer Sherry Ripley says many don't have that kind of time. There's been a lot of empty promises, so we can't really believe them anymore. These unemployed Coloradans say it's time for Governor Polis to step in. He's supposed to be helping people. And he refuses to really acknowledge what's going on with unemployment with the people of Colorado. We're supposed to be one of the states that stands up for our people. And right now we're not standing up for our people. We're failing. We reached out to Governor Polis for an interview and instead we got a statement from a spokesperson. In that statement, they say they are working with CDLE to help Coloradans with their claims, but they blame some of the delay on federal response to the unemployment crisis. Reporting live tonight in Denver, I'm Andrea Flores covering Colorado First.